Sup all, JC3 here, the baller of YouTube The General. Welcome to Topic Tackle. My take for today is on the history of Nike What The Basketball Shoes, how the crazy colorways emerged and their rarity on the market. Kevin Durant is the most recent player to feature the What The KD10, as he has worn them every game so far in the Western Conference Finals. And always remember to check out my past couple of videos, including the LeBron vs. Jordan debate, Donovan Mitchell's star potential with Adidas as well, and I encourage you to leave a thumbs up on this video and your feedback in the comments down below for more Topic Tackle coming soon. Let's get into it. I want to start with a shout out to Soul Collector for the information. You can check out their full article on soulcollector.com. Nike's What The series is self-explanatory, as someone could look at a pair and proclaim, WHAT? Nike began mashing up different colorways in 2007 with the SB Dunk Low, What The Dunk. The silhouette included the famous pigeon icon under the swoosh on the right shoe, an icon inspired by New York Jeff Staple in 2005. His idea for the pigeon icon in a limited SB Dunk release in New York drew huge crowds and riots upon release in 2005. A little over two years later, the What The Dunk released on October 1st, 2007 for $120, and today, 11 years later, it resells at an average of $1,958, a 1,525% price premium over retail. After a five-year hiatus, Kobe, always an innovator, brought the What The Back in 2012 with the Zoom Kobe 7 system. The upper features inspiration from the poison dart frog and cheetah versions of the Kobe 7, and the heel features the three different animals that were themes in the Kobe 7 line. There were a couple of notable unreleased sneakers as well. One was the KD4, and according to Soul Collector, the left sneaker in the pair relies heavily on the all-star KD4 for its base, adding a nerf strap and weatherman heel to the shiny colorway. And with this glimpse of the right sneaker, it looks like the scoring title theme was implemented in the back. The LeBron 9 What The also never hit retail, but did pop up on eBay. In 2013, the What The Air Max pack was released with multicolored uppers. In my opinion, these shoes don't follow the traditional What The format. Like anything is traditional or standard in the What The models, but whatever. 2013 also saw the KD5 What The get released in limited quantities for men only, and the LeBron 10 Premium What The MVP dropped in celebration of LeBron's fourth MVP award. The best thing about these shoes is that I found a pair available now on Walmart.com. Wait a minute, wait. Wait a minute! To round out 2013, the Kobe 8 what they released in larger quantities in December and featured the soccer style Mercurial or Mambacurial Nike branding on the medial side of the left shoe. In 2014, the Air Max Trainer 94 What The was released. More signature basketball shoes followed it, such as the KD6, which combined 35 different graphics and colorways from all the past KD6 models. The What The KD6 was reportedly the most widespread release of a What The shoe, as it hit select Nike retailers on June 14, 2014 for $150. Rounding out 2014 was the What The LeBron 11, which released after many date changes. 2015 saw the Kobe 9 Elite with color changes on the lateral and medial sides, the KD7 with combined colors from different colorways and different molded parts with straps from the All-Star and Ant Pearl editions, the LeBron 12 with nods to his favorite childhood heroes and favorite teams, and rounding out basketball was the Kobe 10 with multicolored panels, inside out stitching, and non-matching lefts and rights. Also in 2015, the Dunk Dornbrecker was limited to 11 pairs that released via charity, and the Air Max 95 Greedy was released. In 2016, the Nike Mercurial Superfly became the first soccer cleat to receive the What The treatment. According to Soul Collector, Nike's What The Mercurials incorporated 18 different colors, inspired by the history of the line, the most colors ever found in a single Nike soccer cleat. Now we find ourselves in 2018, where Kevin Durant's surprise debuted the What The KD10 on the road against the Thunder, where he dropped 30 four points and 10 rebounds and a 111-107 win. The next day, it dropped in limited quantities at three House of Hoops locations in Harlem, San Francisco Center, and Saramonte Center in Daly City, California. Via Sneaker News, this iteration of the What The features design cues from multiple KD10s, the Amp Pearl, Multicolor, Santa Monica, and City Edition. It also has floral and galaxy bursts on it, and the resale price just frustrates me because I'm not dropping $400 for a shoe. If anyone has a connection out there, you let me know. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. What is your favorite What The Nike sneaker of all time? Remember to subscribe, like, leave your feedback, comments down below. We'll be back with more Topic Tackle coming soon. JC3, out.